Hello, welcome back to another street scrapping um, video. I've started quite late this morning. I've already been out and done a little bit. Probably time, a little bit. It's a little bit warm. Uh, yeah, sweat me bits off. Uh, picked up a few bits already. Um, I, I've been out about an hour or so, so I've just popped in Tesco to get a drink. Um, a bit silly, really, because I just forgot to should have put one you know, in the van, but I didn't. Um, yeah, so let's go and see what we can get. Some bits of sheet and a pool ladder or something, and a few little bits and pieces. Let's get in the van. Just got home. The builder boys have dropped these off while I've been out. So, yes. three bags. So I can get my wire in and uh, all my unfair stuff. Oh, that's interesting. So that means I can uh, clear the garage, which is going to be good. And that should be a nice little payday. But anyway, I'm back home, we'll have a look in the van in a second. Right, you see me pick up that tin, and I can't remember what else was there. Um, then I picked up this tumble dryer, and I'll come home. It's that, believe it or not, 20 seconds of this video it took three hours to do. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do is take this out, so we can go out again tomorrow, and um, actually have a look. I can't remember what's in here, so I um, don't know what you can see. Sun's on the screen, so um, let's take your stuff out, have a look through what we've got, and then we can go out again in the morning. Right, so we've got a tumble dryer, we've got a saw, what it said did work, but then he's cut the cable on it, so yeah, there you go, that's dead, isn't it? Um, yeah, the saw's dead. But, uh, some, I think that's that sort of um, something worth breaking down on it. And then, I don't know if you can sit under here. Looks like a roller stand thing. Anyway, that was okay. I didn't look, I just chucked it in quickly. Like I say, a lot of this stuff was just quick stuff I chucked in. Um, there's a radiator there. And a couple of springs over the back, I don't think you can see them. But they were on the side of the road. The bloke with the tumble dry said, I'll go and have a look at the down there because it's there on the side. So that's what I did. Yeah, that's a stand thing I was on about. It was underneath the saw. Um, I think we had a couple of them from a um, demolition job we've done. I think we've had them, so we can have that one if he wants it as well. When he's cutting wood and stuff. Right, so also got his loft ladder. I don't know what I just showed you actually, to be honest, I can't remember. I think it, it's all there. I think it works. If it is, I have to look into it. I've never had one myself. Um, it's all there, I'll resell it. There's the pool ladder, we see that on the side of the road. Uh, there's lots of loads of bits of, I'm not sure what that is, I don't know if it's just a bin or something out of a, it looks like a filing cabinet by the bottom of it, I don't know. Um, radiator, nice little alley, it's tube, I think it's alley. Um, yeah, there's loads of little bits there, so get the ladder out, get that ladder out, and then get the wheelbarrow and see what's amongst all these little bits of rubbish. I think there's a little, um, one of them bike things, you know, with um, no pedals, whatever they're called. Right, you might be able to see a bit more. Um, motor, whatever it is, out of a baller. Uh, that's the green bike, actually it shows up well on the camera, I think. Chair, shovel, some other little bits and pieces, loads of little bits. These bits, I think these are all of a uh, wheelchair. That feels like alley. I can't be, it's got to be still, isn't it? It's got to be still. Um, but yeah, and these are springs, I don't know, Gary's door springs or something, aren't they? I don't know. I'm guessing. Right, so I'm going to get these in the wheelbarrow. Get this around the back. I've just been told about another little bit of scrap down the road, so we might as well see if we can get that tonight. Right, I've just been down the road to have a little bit of scrap. What I was, my wife told me there was a, a hop up and some other bits and pieces here. So I went, obviously, I unloaded the van first, but there was no hop up. So I'll show you what I did pick up. Nothing much, but 
of us there, so, you know, and it said free and help yourself to the skip and whatever else, so I did have a good look around, so I'll show you what I've got. All right, some aerial cable, a couple of bracket things there, uh, box of nails. This was in, the, that was on the side, the, this was on the side of the road, and this light, this brand new light, was on the side. Um, it's a halogen light with no bulb. But the other bits I got out of a skip, so that disc is already in here. That's from Keith. So that was in the skip. Box of screws. Um, what else was in the skip? Uh, the aerial cable was in the skip. A couple of old whistles, so it's worth like so. It adds up in the end, doesn't it? I suppose these little bits. And then this was in there as well with some. This was it. Like, this is all the skip. This was in the box. I just took the box out. It's done what I said. I didn't look through it. I just thought, well, it's got, got the bits in there, bits of brass and stuff. So you can't argue with it. And like I say that was in the skip. So and all that was in the skip. Um, the hop up had gone. Uh, that's what we're going to start out with tomorrow. I'll just leave that in there tonight. I can't be asked to unload it. I just can't remember where we're going tomorrow. <laughs> I've tried to make up different routes because obviously where I, I go are only little villages. And like when you're in the, you know, when you watch a lot of scrap videos in like Manchester or wherever. And um, that means I can just go out every day and they, they get a fresh lot of scrap. But with the little villages, they just. Once a week, um, then they get to know when you're coming round, and they start putting it out for you and hiding it up for you. Um, just like today, um, well, I see what happened today. I'll explain that to you. Yeah, so today I was out doing my scrapping, and um, I had a van fly up behind me, transit van, uh, mid range, mid height van, transit van. And I thought, I've seen that a couple of times before when I've been out and about. And uh, it's got magnet signs on the side of it, something about plumbing. So I recognised, as soon as I see the side of it in my mirror, I realised it's the same van. So um, I did a, one little village and didn't see them all. I thought, well, that's, that's fine. That's you know, just coincidence and whatever. And then I went to the next village and I went round and I sort of see him hovering about a bit in the van. That's weird. And then he ended up behind me again and I realised what he's doing. He's following me around and because people see me go past in the van and they realise, and then they come out with a scrap or whatever because they know I'm looking for me, people are looking for me. What he's doing is he's nabbing it before I can get back around or before, you know. So I uh, did the obvious because obviously he didn't think I was caught on to him. So I just pulled over and waited for him to go past and then I followed him. <laughs> yeah, and he thought he'd go off. But funny enough, that's where I grew up. I, I lived in this little bit but for 11 years, until I was 11. So I know all the little shortcuts. I know all the little bits and pieces. So I just nipped around behind him and then I, I just kept pulling up behind him because I couldn't make out where, you know, this is unusual. I mean, scrap, put, put a little bit of scrap out for me and not doing it. He, he's taking it. Um, so now he knows I'm on to him. I will say a bit more, but uh, so I followed him and he knew what, he knew, because obviously he knows what I'm doing because he's, he's following me. So, it's, um, yeah, so you've got to be a little bit careful about putting, you know, like say, if you tell people you're going to be on a certain day, um, and they put it out, then he, you get people like him who's just going to nick your scrap. Merely, if it's out on the side of the road, it's fair game, isn't it? It is fair game, but when you're following another scrap brand and trying to figure out, you know, he's trying to get me route, that's what he's trying to do. Because um, if he knows where I go, then he knows he just goes over earlier. Simple, isn't it? Simple, but like out here, in the middle of nowhere, we have to fight for every little bit of scrap we get. It's not like I say when you're in a big city, and um, 
they just yeah, you know, like I say, so you you can't have somebody doing that to you. I mean, it's it's just wrong. I mean, I wouldn't do it to someone else. I know a certain person would take scrap from a certain place. I mean, there's a the not not far from when this bloke was. There's another scrapper now. I don't. I leave his. There's a few roads near him. I actually don't even bother. I I drive through them, um, but I don't bother because what's the point? That give them to him, you know. But um. Yeah, I thought that was a bit of a crafty one, following me around. But now I know the van. And he's pretending to be a plumber. Because um, they're magnet signs on the side. Well, they're rough magnet signs. On, you know, they're not not flash. It's just that he's got an excuse for being wherever he's been. He's always a plumber. Well, anyway, I'm going to go in and I'll see you in the morning. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going. I made different routes up and I can't actually remember where we're going tomorrow. But we're going somewhere. And then the day after that, we're going somewhere else. So that's all I know. So we're going to do two or three days on this video. And hopefully I can get it up by Friday night. But like I say, let's see what happens tomorrow. We we'll see you in a minute. Right. It's not the next day. It's the day after. Um, yesterday, I um, had some other bits to do in the end. Uh, because Lou was racing and I had to get the van empty. I didn't go street scrapping yesterday. So it's the day after. So I'm trying an area... Um, what I used to go to a lot now it's took me an hour and a quarter to get here I, an, hour to, an hour and a quarter to get here but um, should be pretty good I've got diesel as well in that time but I left it a bit late to come out and uh, it's just packed it's absolutely packed so the van's empty I took the rest of the stuff out yesterday to get the bike in um, so look for, you know, for Louis, take Louis racing, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a funny old week anyway because I've got a lot, on the, lot going on the weekend. I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you. Yeah, when I've got some more scrap. So let's go and get some scrap. It's took me a different time to get here. Uh, what I've done as well is I've missed other places to get the furthest part away, and then hopefully I'll work my way back. And if I've left anything, I ain't got so far to come back to, to get it. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, let's see what we can get. All right. Up a couple of chairs and a towel dryer and a microwave. Get it on. I thought there was a washing machine next to it. Bloody heavy towel dryer. <laughs> Heaviest tumble, heaviest tumble dryer ever, I should think. Right, so what else we can get? So we'll give up faith and uh, found this little lot. So I'll chuck it on and we'll have a look for it later. Just watched that little clip back and I didn't realise I had a bloody hand over the camera. So I picked that up, I'll show you that when we unload it. And then I um, picked up a couple more little bits. I picked up a radiator and a BMX bike frame, just the frame. Um, got the camera out to film that and a bloody double deck of bus come around because I was blocking the road. So didn't get that filmed. And then cut through to another little village on the way home. And uh, so close um, horse. So I jumped out without the phone, obviously, so I only picked a clothes horse up. And um, end up picking up some more bits there, like a little electric mower, and some bits I'll show you in a minute. I've just stopped on the, I've just stopped in Tesco car park to drink my drink because it's down the floor, I can't reach it. So I just stopped just to get that. Mind you, it's red hot, it's absolutely red hot. Um, I don't think I'm going to do much more today, I don't know, but we'll go back, we'll have a, when I do get back, we'll have a look through what I've got, unload it, and I'll explain what's happening this weekend, so it make a bit more the video will make a little bit more sense, hopefully. Right, I've just got home, it's quarter past, well, you might as well say quarter past three in the afternoon, 
I left here about quarter past 20 past 10 this morning. Um, I'll show you what's in the back in a minute. I'm just going to pop and use the toilet. And then um, I'll show you lots. Like I'll show you what's in the back and explain what's going on. Hoping to get out again tomorrow morning. But like I said, I'll explain what's happening tomorrow and over the weekends uh, in a second. Well, I don't know what you can see. It's quite dark in there, isn't it? Um, that's why I'm going to stop to pick up that clothes horse. In that with electric mower. I think that umbrella, umbrella, umbrella thing's there. The whirly line thing come from there. Um, and I picked up this. What is this? Like, what you're going to hear me without going across the stones. All right, yeah. I picked up this. What is like a chill cabinet. I don't know if it can, you can't pick it out, it's like a fridge. Well, it's not. It's not with the plastic in it. Um, but it's got gas in it, or it did have gas in it. It's been degassed. And they paid, I wish it's 10 or 15 quid out it degassed. So the scrap people can take it. And the, but nobody would touch it because it got gas in it. So, but it hasn't, you know, it's been degassed. So it's got a little. Oh, it's got in there actually. Must have a little radiator there behind that fan. What's there? And it's obviously got the pot in it. But it's all been degassed. So, um, and I can't think you can see all this stuff here. I don't know if you can see it, like, but it's a sunny outside. Can't really see the screen. But all that come from that little pot. <laughs> Just leaning on the wrong bit. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, all that come from that that, uh, that I was showing you on the pavement with my hand across the bloody uh, camera. But to have a look, yeah, that's only my sack brow sliding out. I leaned on that instead of that. <laughs> Never mind. So what I'm going to do now is unload this. So I'll show you what's in there. And it's all ready for the morning. Um, and I'll explain to you what's happening this weekend. What's going to make this. Scrapping a little bit awkward, but we'll see how we get on. Like I said, I didn't know that in a second. Let's get rid of this stuff first and have a look see what we've got. Right, so some more bits of the BMX frame. There's... Now, basically, apart from the microwave underneath, it's all that is what I picked up from... Oh, and the, str and the strimmer. Apart from that and the strimmer, it's what I picked up off the, the pavement when... Um, I'd be hand over the camera. There's some fair few cables and stuff. It's obviously some of these uh, collect scrap because the wire is wire there off of the off of armored cable. So obviously I've been stripping armored cable. So I reckon they take all the good bits, and uh, that's what's left. That's fine. Suits me. And obviously we've got the. Heavy tumble dryer there. That is heavy for a tumble dryer. Right, so I'll get some more bits out. Oh, that's the rad I picked up when the bus come. So there's that rad and the bike frame. This is some of the stuff that's on the side of the road. So I thought I'd filmed I hadn't. Things like this. Type like that. It's got to be a scrapper, like I say. Because this is wire out of armoured cable. There's more cables in there. I'll stand back a bit. As you can see. There's quite a bit of stuff in here still. Uh, I'll bet again unload it. Basically, we're getting to the end of it now. Some jump cables and a few bits and pieces. Jump leads, I should say. A bag of plugs. So lots of it, and that was a scrapper. Electric head cutter. Obviously the tumble dryer. Uh, yeah, so it's just a few bits there now I need to clear up. Oh, and then I'll tell you what's, what else is going on. It's too hot out here, isn't it, Marlo? Yeah, it's too hot. It's more just cooler out here now than what it is indoors, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, it's getting too much, isn't it? So I just, just picked these up as well from my one of my bins down the road. I don't know what's in the box. 
No, no idea. Maybe. Well, I don't know if you can see, I can't see from here. <laughs> I'll have a look in a minute. I didn't chuck it in, someone else chucked a box in, so I'll have to have a look in there. All right, get this out and I'll tell you what's happening. Right, you've just seen me unload that stuff. Well, you see the stuff I've just picked up from the electrician around the corner where I have a bin, what he fills up, or we'll put some stuff in. So I've just done that. It's Friday. You're not going to see this the next Friday, so that's what I can tell you. Um, got a busy weekend, so I don't know what scrap I'm going to get done over the weekend. I think, if anything, it's only going to be a bit of processing tomorrow um, on Saturday because today it's only just gone 11 o'clock we now got to have a shave and a shower because we're going to see madness and i can't think the other two groups tonight but everybody wants to meet up in the pub i say everybody not me everybody else wants to meet up in the pub at one o'clock so that's what we're doing today that's a whole day's balls balls that i'm about scrapping or playing with the scrap or something but there you go so that's today Tomorrow, uh, it's training for Louis, Louis on his BMX. So we don't get back here until sort of early afternoon. Um, so I might be able to do a bit of processing tomorrow, Saturday, that's Saturday. And then Sunday, uh, me and Louis are in Milton Keynes, racing at Milton Keynes, uh, the last round of the regionals. So... Um, yeah, if you want to see any of that BMX stuff, it's, it's all on my other channel. Um, there's a link in the description. No scrap, Colin. Um, yeah. But anyway, so this week is pretty balls up. And what my plan was to get a lot more done anyway this week. Well, I haven't. I think the heat's just killed me. I was out there to, I don't know what it was, half past eight, nine o'clock last night. But, so um, I might actually end the video here, I think. And then if I don't process anything... I'll do that, you'll see that next Tuesday, and then we'll do some more street scrapping. Um, I've got a school job coming up, I must have mentioned it a hundred times, I've got another school job coming up um, in about a week's time, so that'll be a quite interesting video, I think. Um, no idea what's happening there. But yeah, I think that's all I'm going to have to get done on this video, mainly because I've got to do another couple of videos of BMXing for the other channel. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I think you've seen most of what I've got. I think I've shown you everything. There's bits of footage I've missed. I've been just flicking through there the other, the other night. I noticed there's bits I missed out and bits I thought I'd filmed. I don't know what's going on. I need to get, get me acting. I don't know. I need to kick up your ass. But, um, yeah, I was just watching the light. Like, lady on a grab lorry she's backing up the road she means she's going to back out onto that main road when you can drive round it's a bit it's a bit silly really uh, we'll wait for the bang eh time to hit it <laughs> um yeah so like i say well i'll leave the video there um yeah if you like this sort of stuff give it a thumbs up um subscribe whatever i have to give that bit of bullshit nobody likes it i don't like it but there you go Anyway, if you've got this far, well done. Remember, it's okay not to be okay. And I'll see you next time. Bye.